Hi everyone. Today we're going to take a page out of my first cookbook, Catherine's Plates, Making Home Cooking Simple, Easy, and Delicious. And we are going to make Crock-Pot Swiss Steak. We're going to take these delicious beef cube steaks and we are going to make these so tender. I'm going to be using my Crock-Pot as a slow cooker and these are going to melt in your mouth at the end. Let's go ahead and make the dredge that we're going to use to dredge these up with. And the dredge on these will make that sauce really nice and thick. I'm just going to use a pie plate because it's long and narrow and we can get our cube steaks in there to dredge them. So in that, that I'm going to add one cup of all-purpose flour, whatever flour you're using. We'll start with that. I've got about two pounds of cube steaks. You can go from like one and a half pounds up to two pounds for this recipe. All right, we've always got to flavor our flour. I've got salt. I'm just going to sprinkle it right across the top. I'm going to say about a quarter of a teaspoon. Black pepper. Again, a quarter of a teaspoon right across your flour. And then garlic powder, quarter of a teaspoon. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then some onion powder right across the top. Lots of onion, right? All right, I'm just going to take my whisk, just kind of blend this together. Let's go bring a recipe book over. So what we're going to do now is season our steaks on both sides as we put them into our skillet right here. Now I'm just using a 12 inch cast iron skillet. I'm going to place a little bit of oil in it. I'm doubling the recipe. All right, we're going to put our skillet on a medium high heat. So we do want to sear these really good. All right, we're going to bring our cube steaks over. There we go. Okay, we're just going to get my pick here. You can use a fork or you can use some tongs. And I'm just going to pick up the first one, place it in the flour, press it down, turn it over. Press it down. You want it nice and hot because you want it to sear and get nice and brown fast because we're not cooking these all the way through. We're just giving them a nice color, locking in some flavor of the seasonings. All right, let's add that. What we're going to do is just take our cube steak, kind of shake it off, place it in the pan. There we go. Now we're going to let those sit for about three to four minutes on one side, and then we'll flip it over. Just take your cube steak, place it in the flour, press it down, press, press, press. Remember, this is what's going to help thicken up our gravy. I'm going to be doing these one to two at a time. It just depends on how many I have. I'm using my big skillet here, so that way I can get more in. All right, you can see it's starting to sizzle there. I'm going to add this one. All right, three minutes. All right, let's flip these over. Three more minutes. All right, we're ready to pull these out. We're going to place them on a plate. And then we'll do the other ones. All right, add more oil if you need it. All right, we're going to sear both of these. We're going to do the last one. All right, we're going to remove these. 
All right, we're going to start with our vegetables now. I've got six carrots. It's not in my original recipe, but we have found that we love when these are slow cooked and with the Swiss steak. And then we've got two bell peppers and two onions. So I'm just going to peel these, chop them kind of small. All right, I'm just using my fastest carrot peeler in town. <laughs> well, at my house anyway. Woo. Got a jumper. There we go. All right, let's give these a chop. All right, we got our carrots done. Let's go into these two green bell peppers. Now, if you don't have bell peppers, you can put celery in this dish also if you want to add, even add it to it. If I had celery right now, I would. So I'm just going to go around my pepper here. Now, we want these nice and big. That way we can see these because these will soften down. I just lost one on the floor. I'll have to get it and wash them off. And then we're going to chop up two yellow onions. Because it'll melt in the crock pot. And I say melt, it will be gone. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you have big pieces of onion in there. So I'm just going to cut them in half. Big pieces. So I've got my pan heated back up. As you can tell, it's sizzling a little bit. We're going to add in two cans of diced tomatoes. These are 14 ounce cans. We're going to add three cups of beef broth. We're going to take some minced garlic. I'm going to add in about one tablespoon. There we go, right on top. Bring my heat up a little bit and bring that to a boil. And a little bit of Worcestershire. All right, I'm going to scrape the bottom of the pan. Get all those little bits up because guess what? We don't want to leave any flavor behind. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of my flour that I had left over. This will help thicken things up. A couple of tablespoons should do it. Get my whisk. Get that flour incorporated in. All right, we're going to add our carrots, celery, and onions. Now I'm going to mimic the flavors that I put on my cube steaks. I'm just going to go across the top. Some salt, about a quarter teaspoon. We've got a lot of stuff going on in there. Some black pepper quarter of a teaspoon. Got some garlic powder right across the top. Yeah, I took my recipe. This was, a, you know, a very old recipe and it's changed over the years. And we got onion powder. So garlic powder and onion powder, about a quarter teaspoon of each. I'm just going to stir this up as it comes to a boil. Get all those flavors together. And then we're going to put this all into the crock pot. You gotta love these little tools right here that you can put onto your cast iron skillet. Look at that. It's silicone and you can hold on to that, which is really nice. I'm just gonna pour it all in. There we go. All right, we're gonna take our cube steaks and we're gonna submerge them in. I don't even wanna see them. Get them in there. <laughs> We're going to place the lid on. I'm going to cook this on high about four to five hours, or you can go on low between maybe six to seven hours. You really want to make sure that your cube steaks are nice and tender. Just go in with a fork and it should just come off like you're just going to eat a hamburger. That's how tender that should be. Make sure that your vegetables, whatever you have in here, are nice and tender also. You make sure your carrots are fork tender and your peppers and onions and everything. All right, four and a half hours. Look where we're at. Doesn't that look delicious? Let's find one. Oh, look at that. Y'all, these are very tender. I already dragged a fork through them. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm serving this over my chicken rice, which is just rice cooked with chicken broth, butter, salt, and a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder for flavor. Now, look at that sauce. Oh, yeah. Perfect. 
You don't even need a knife for this. Look how that breaks apart. Very tender. I'm going to have it with a little bit of rice, tomato, onion, some pepper right there. I'm going to give this a try for you. Mmm. That is so good. Now, if you don't want to serve it over rice, you can make mashed potatoes, some egg noodles, whatever you want. That's delicious. So make sure that you give me a thumbs up on this one if you're new to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when my shows are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.